way there is this sack. Um, yeah. Hi, Zach. Hey, Priyanka. It's, Priyanka? Yeah, that's right. It's Priyanka from Saga Fiction. What's up? Well, what's new? Um, Aside from your book, Conquerors of Titan. Let's, uh, let's not talk Titan, about yeah. the sales. It's, it's only been out for right six now, months. It's pretty so. right. It's only been out for six months. So let's discuss your influences. Probably Philip K. Dick. Phil Dick was yeah. a prominent sci-fi author? Yeah, yeah. Um, and he had a huge influence on me. I think uh, probably the biggest one was when I went and saw Total Recall when I was 10. And uh, in the storyline, um, you know, Schwarzenegger goes for a memory implant and then suddenly he's acting like a totally different person. Uh, you know, he gets all aggressive and, and spazzes out. And the lady says, well, yeah, he paid for this trip to be a, a spy, but we haven't implanted it yet. So that sort of blew my mind. That was the first mind-blowing thing I think had happened to me in a, a film-going experience. And it made me really want to go and read more up on uh, Philip K. Dick. So that's, you know. And do you see your work as similar to his? Not really. What was the main purpose behind Conquerors of Titan? Well, you know, uh, for me, I just got tired of Star Trek and Star Wars. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Okay, so you were tired of Star Trek and Star Wars? and wanted to offer something different to fans. Yep, pretty much. How did you come up with the incredible technology seen in Conquerors? Um, it was all based on uh, particle physics, quantum physics. A lot of the stuff, the technology that you see uh, in the books um, is something um, you know, like the water reclaimers, uh, the Terran equipment, and some of the other stuff. It's all totally possible, so something That's like... That's really fascinating. Well, thanks. And these holy relics, as they're described in Conquerors of Titan, like the Gravitas Gauntlets, the Antimatter Gun, the Dark Device, yeah, the and dark the device. Absolute Zero Ice Armor. Right. These are all scientifically viable. Sure. Yeah. Can you tell your audience a bit about your process? How uh, do you write? Oh, uh, well, my. For me, it comes through in dreams. Uh, it's, I'm a very subconsciously motivated person, and uh, a lot of the times my work, well, my stories will come to me as already fleshed out. It's as if I'm seeing a movie in my head, and uh, all I do is just write it down for the audience to see if they enjoy what I'm so seeing. So your stories are dreams? Yes. Yeah. That's really cool, man. I guess. How do you remember these subconscious fragments, Zach? Um... They come to me in glimpses and pieces, you know. Uh, as I said, my Philip, my, Phil Dick, my favorite author, he uh, once said my stories are attempts at reception. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing for me. What I'm hearing is that your process is like watching a film and then transcribing what you've seen in your mind's eye onto the page. Mm-hmm, yeah. And is this process easy? It, it can be. It can be. It just, it, it really just depends on... Uh, on how clear the signal is that I'm getting in my in my head, I guess. <laughs> That's an answer. Do you consider yourself a success? Well, it depends upon how you define success. What is defined as success in the writing and publishing industry? Well, success is uh, just the same as being an actor or being a musician. You get some jobs and you make some money. That's success. 98% of people who write will never write anything that gets published. And the 2% that are successful, 1% are wild successes. Um, you know, like the, like Stephen King uh, and um, eventually Frank Herbert, guys like that. The other 1% out of the 2% that are successful are working writers like myself. We get a couple of no novels that get acclaim. You know, say for me, in, in my case, Smuggle Barista. Um, more Conquerors of Titan, which is still fairly new, but seems to be getting good hits. So. How did you create the world of Conquerors of Titan? It's, uh, well, it takes place on um, Titan, uh, which is a moon of Saturn, and it's the only known body in our solar system that has um, liquid water and ice water on the surface. So it's possible it could support life in a couple hundred years, which is when the story... The story takes place, I think, in like 25, 22, something like that, 25, 24, somewhere around now. there. There are some heady topics lying just under the surface of Conquerors. Yeah. Aside from the climactic battles between superheroes and rock monsters. Yeah, seven the golems. Religion. Mm-hmm. Drug abuse. Well, yeah. Um, 
those things are, are, are naturally endemic uh, to the experience of being young. And of course, seven Kandira are descendants from um, the African continent and, uh, and, and Central America. So they're not Caucasian. Um, and even in the, in the future on Titan, then, you know, we, we've gotten past, you know, white and black. I mean, we're all kinds of just basically shades of tan or brown now. Um, and so fitting in, figuring out your place, what you believe in, what's right for you versus what's right for other people. Um, these are things that you see, you don't ever see really so much in uh, like Star Trek, Star Wars, Dune. There's not that uh, trying to find your place in the world as you see it in my, in my books. These more serious matters are simply missing in other more mainstream sci-fi franchises. Yeah. Understood. Okay. You wanted to make the sci-fi experience more accessible to younger audiences. Pretty Folks much. Folks dealing with, say, religious indeterminance, yeah. drug availability, and addiction. Mm -hmm. The disparity gap between the wealthy and the working class. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, a lot of these things I don't think are really explored as deeply as they could be, especially in sci-fi. When were you first published? Um, I was first uh, legitimately published, of course, by you by Saga Fiction this year, 2023. Um, Google Play and the Apple app are uh, the modern equivalent of being traditionally published. Before that, I, uh, I had some self-published in 2016. I self-published and Smuggle Barista eventually won an award. Before that, I had been published, uh, just self-published in 2020, or not 2020, and back in 2000, back when I was uh, 19, 20 years old. God, I'm old. And when was the first award you received? And, uh, that was for Smuggle Barista, um, and that was in uh, 2020, 2021. I actually won a couple of awards for it. Um, Smuggle Barista got the Best New Barista Audiobooks 2022, and it was uh, named uh, Best Barista Audiobooks of All Time for 2021. Quite a lag there. I guess. How long have you been writing? Mm, since I was 10. I think I was first published in the Boy Scouts of America magazine for an article I did when I was 10. Uh, I, won a, uh, I won a boom box. <laughs> Can you give your fans a bit of background on your education? Um, I graduated from high school early. I uh, got an HSE, and then I proceeded to go to college. Uh, I graduated from college with honors with a degree in applied sciences before I was old enough to buy beer and cigarettes. So I'm a bit of a overachiever in that regards. What's your typical day like? Well, you have to understand I'm boring. Uh, I am sober. I don't drink alcohol. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't do illegal drugs. I work out three times a week. I practice self-defense and I floss every day and brush my teeth twice a day. I'm, you know, I'm a boring guy, so I do a lot of writing. Great. And in closing, any advice for struggling writers? First of all, you have to know your market. Realize that if you're going to get published and be a wild success, a New York Times bestselling author, the, really the only way to do that is by publishing a biological fiction of someone, or nonfiction especially. Um, anyone in government, their bio seems to automatically go to a top ten bestseller. If you're going to write what you want to write, it'd probably be best to just uh, self-publish. That would be my advice. Other than that, write at least a couple of sentences every day, even if you don't use them. And that would be my, my take on it. Thank you so it. much for your time, Zach. Oh, no problem. I'm Priyanka with Saga. Zach's book, Conquerors of Titan, is available from Saga Fiction yeah. exclusively through Google Play and the Apple App Store. Thanks, Priyanka. Zach M. T. Standridge's other approximately 90 titles <laughs> are available from Amazon, iTunes, and Audible. Thanks for tuning in and download Sega Fiction today. Bye, guys.